Hi guys, December 22nd, and this is part 4 of growing winter strawberries. I started these strawberries right around September 7th, so they've been growing for right around 100 days now. It's about 7 in the morning, and uh, I want to get this video out before the kids uh, wake up, so the lighting uh, isn't the greatest, so you have to bear with me. So I apologize about that. I ended up getting two strawberries. They are right around uh, Thanksgiving, December 1st, so... I'll go ahead and uh, post a quick clip here. December 1st, we got our first ripe strawberry. If you watched my last video, um, I did end up move moving, so I haven't got my greenhouse set up, so right now I just have these strawberries set up in my garage. Here's a view of my lighting setup I got. Just uh, pretty simple, three CFLs, got them on timers, run them right around eight hours a day. And the reason why I'm only running them eight hours was uh, my thinking was if I stressed the plants, maybe they would uh, flower and uh, produce better. And I have a ton of flowers, a ton of berries coming in, I mean, everywhere. But they're really small. And some of the berries are starting to get deformed. You see how they're splitting. And uh, this was my last hope. Uh, I was hoping I'd get one strawberry for Christmas. Uh, just not going to make it. And it's definitely not the size of the, of the first two. I think uh, moving them out of the greenhouse, it, uh, it really affected the growth. Now I apologize again about the lighting, but that's the best I can do for right now. Uh, here's the roots. Really nice. So a little brown. Not too worried about it. But I mean, look at the size of this plant just a uh, huge humongous you can see a uh, ton of berries so I'm kind of bummed how to pull this out of the greenhouse but uh well I feel pretty confident if I would have kept the system going in the greenhouse this winter uh, I think it would have produced pretty good so um, next year I will definitely give it another try and since uh, I moved these indoors I sort of end up uh, getting some aphids and I just got done watching a video from uh, Dale from Easy Grows It and uh, he had a video close up of spider mites if you want wondering what spider mites look like um, check out his video this is a, by far the best video <coughs> sorry I've seen whoa look at all those best video I've seen so far of spider mites so uh, I'll put a link at the end of the video and uh, check it out well, this is my last video of the year. Um, I wouldn't consider this a uh, success, but uh, definitely learned a lot. I think the uh, aquarium heater helped out quite a bit and uh, shown uh, you know some really promising signs. I mean, got a lot of fruit grown, just not very big. Uh, lots of good growth. So uh, learned a lot, and uh, I want to implement it for next winter. Well, this will be my last video. Just uh, really busy, don't really have time time for it. But I will be posting pics. I started I started a little strawberry hydroponic community on Google Plus, and I'll just post some pics for the rest of the season there. And then, uh, if you guys have any pictures or videos you want to post there, go ahead, and I'll put a link there at the end of the video. Love to see what you guys come up with. I just wanted to say thanks to everyone that subscribed, watched, and comment on my channel. I met a lot of great people this year, watched a lot of great videos, learned a lot, and I uh, can't wait to see what you guys come up with in 2014. And I just want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas, and uh, thanks again. I had a great year, and I uh, can't wait to share 2014 with you guys. So take care, and God bless.